How are my fellow stars? It's Ventrix here with another Vindictus video and today we're back from where we continued where we were trying to figure out where that one stone came from. As you guys remember, we went on a search with Keegan and Gwen about what this um like one stone was about and we finally figured out that it was to the catacombs of um the Anelli, which is very much banned for the for us, but we're doing it anyways because Keegan wants to figure out the truth of what caused the rebellion between Inkels and the people in the High Pontiffs himself. So today we're continuing that. It looks like we're doing the quest. Um, we're gonna pretty much struggle with this quest. I'm not sure how long it's actually gonna take me to finish this battle. It's called Avatar of Destruction, and this boss. Pretty much solo is really hard, especially since I'm still not used to this class very much. But, I think we should be able to take him out pretty quickly if I could get enough hits on him and all that stuff. And if he could keep healed up, I just bought a bunch of HP potions before we started. And I bought a lot more things before we started so that we have everything ready. So, now we're going to continue with the story. And we are going to see how long the Avatar of Destruction is actually going to take us because... This mission isn't as easy, and my cat's complaining right there. Powder, what do you want? <laughs> Why? Why are you yelling at me? It's not my fault. That, there's, it's, Powder, your hours are too off. It's not dinner time yet. Yeah, that's my cat in the back. I'm sorry about her just coming in and yelling all the time. Like, I don't know. She's very complaining today because I think she wants dinner. So, yeah, that's what's going on. She wants dinner and it's not going her way. So, all right. So, we're going off to the story. This is why we protect such a monster to guard this place. Everyone prepare. We're going in. So, last episode, we ran into the catacombs and, um... We start heading in after killing the guard because there was some monster guarding it. So we took him out. And now we're actually going in the actual catacombs to see what they've been hiding in this area and see what caused the rebellion from Inkel's side. So <clears throat> that was a weird glitch. He was just standing up ready. All right, so we're gonna walk up to him. That thing is not the best looking. I'm sorry about coughing. I have that cold still. Oh, so I was like kind of thinking whether I'm recording today or not, but I decided, you know what, just record because I've recorded a video a long time. I'm sorry that the music is so loud. There's nothing I can do about that. It's just the battle music for this guy. But you guys will get to watch the intense battle. I don't know if I'm going to talk too much during this battle because my throat's like really bugging me. <clears throat> and I really need to focus on this guy too. Because he's just not an easy boss at all, so. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the battle while it goes. Oh my god, this guy, because you're supposed to be playing this multiplayer. If you guys are curious, actually, you're supposed to have like another teammate controlling the, the weapon that's in the back, but for me that I play solo, and his flying, because he can fly, I know, such an unfair advantage when you're just a land creature like me, who can only attack from land. Luckily for Eevees, it, 
like EVs with staves, you can attack this monster no matter if he flies up anyways, because EV has like attacks that you can like literally just follow the target anyways. And that's pretty much why I love EV for this battle, is because it's so easy with her. She could just shoot up at him with her like her strongest attacks, and this guy is now gonna start throwing stuff at me, and he's gonna swing at me like that. Very rude, sir. But you don't mind if I start using all my attacks on you, sir. Maybe if I could get him down to the ground again, I could. Ow. I could start using this on him. Let's do it. No, 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 don't fly up on me now, sir. I'm gonna use this big attack on you. You ain't going anywhere. Let's see how much damage we can do, please. Ah, oh, that's that much damage? That was not too much damage on this dude. Alright. We gotta do what we gotta do, you know. Oh god. He missed me. Oh my goodness, I'm proud of myself. Alright, we're almost done with him though. We're almost done. Oh my god. Yeah! Oh, that's quite the pose character. Y you didn't need a pose like that. At least the... Uh, under Armour isn't that bad, but what a weird shot I just got my character. Alright! That took a while. And we leveled up during it! Nice! Yeah, sorry for not talking for the first few minutes. It says that my throat was being very annoying. But while doing the battle a little bit, my throat just started to clear up. I don't know what happened. My voice is like... Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it will work, and then it'll not work again. I don't know. <laughs> and I had to cough. And we finished off this guy, and wow, I didn't have to use one revival. I remember when I first started this game, I had to use so many revivals to kill this guy. It was crazy, and I didn't even have to use one there, so I guess that just shows how much I've gotten used to the game, I guess I should say, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and leave this and uh, see what happens from there on. I believe we have a continuation of the story because the last time we did and for sure this is kind of like, we're actually heading towards the end of this actual season of the game. So that's why it's been so much difficult battles so far. So, So we should go back. What is that thing? How could the Prontif allow that cor allow that to be? I have no idea. To find such a held type by Prontif's particle, C could the Prontif core have been involved in the destruction of Anelli? Keegan shakes his head. None of this makes sense. When we get back, I'm going to drag the truth out of the church. Everyone follow me back to Rochest. Alright. So we're actually going to go up. This is a very interesting and the mechanic of the game because this is actually part of the story. I think you guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear it. What is the meaning of this? Why have you all come? We're crouching. Sounds like there's Demanded something up there. At once, we are dead. Who we gave the order? Here. That's not good. Shut up. Dare speak to your commander that I way? Said, shut up. I'm the commander. He is the captain. What? I never liked you. You're too impulsive. Too curious. Such a into this little you area. Because I know I can go between here. The meaning of this. What line, Reardon? You've ordered these men out here on your own whim. This is treason. 
Return to base now. Silence! You have no authority over me. They have branded you a heretic. You have been stripped of your command, and I have been appointed the new captain. I give the orders now. Feels bad for Gwen. Remember when I first saw that cutscene? I cried because, you know, you get really connected to Gwen throughout the whole entire story. Like, you really do. It's no lie. When, like, literally, I'm not even lying, when you get connected to Gwen throughout the whole storyline, you start to love the character because at first she doesn't seem like she's the soft type. I'm actually gonna walk back to, um, Colin. Because that's actually where our story continues at. And actually, we could just. Oh, wait, not the rabbi whistle. Never mind. I don't know what I was doing there. Let's think about something else. Oh, uh, I don't have any of them. I don't have any, like, of those travel things. So I'm gonna walk back to, um, Cohen, and I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we're back in Cohen. I'm going into the magic laboratory because that's where our story continues off, so it makes more sense. So we're going to walk into here, and pretty much what this is right here is we're having memories of when we met Gwen. We haven't been properly introduced. My name is Gwen. With, I'm with the Royal Army. I want you to investigate the relationship between the spider at the tower and the gnolls at the Paris ruins. I can't return to Roaches with Keegan to face Keegan like this. It's Ventrix. Please find the bodies of my troops. Why did I leave you alone, Ellis? Why wasn't I there to stop you? If you're not thoroughly convinced that the beggar is correct, I recommend that you don't go. It's your call. Oh, I've always known. Oh yeah, this is a private quest we haven't seen because it's a miniature quest. And it's just like a small one. So, yeah. From the moment I met you, I knew you were stronger than me. I didn't want to accept it. So yeah, someday we're going to do that quest that you guys can see what it is. If you guys want to see that quest, be sure to tell me and I'll do that quest on one of my videos so that you guys can figure out what she was talking about there. So, that'd be pretty cool. But my mind is at peace now. Thank you, Adventrix. I mean, thank you, Captain. I look forward to working with you. Episode 8, Not Even You Could Kill Us All has been complete. So fully on episode 8 has been completed which is really nice. So now we're just gonna zoom through all this dialogue so we don't have to deal with it at all in any other episodes that we're gonna be doing so. Ooh, nice reward. Some EXP for that. There we go. And we're gonna talk to Niall because that's who we're supposed to talk to. 
Ah, are you awake? Where am I? You aren't good. You are safe. Keegan blinks as and looks around wearily. Who are you? My name is Niall. I'm a member of the Silent Brotherhood. Keegan all but leaps at Niall. That cannot be. The Silent Brotherhood still exists. Niall smiles wearily. Indeed we do. We have survived the incident. And as much as that possibly dismi that possibly dismay you, you should be grateful. I was the one who saved you from your comrades, after all. Ironic, isn't it? Gwen, where is she? What happened to her? Nala no, looks grim. The two of you are the only ones who survived. That cannot. No, that cannot be. I refuse to believe it. No such thing as... No, something is not right. I must return to Rochester. Don't bother. Kiki glares at Nile in outrage. Explain yourself. You won't be able to make it past the front gate, boy. Have you forgotten? You're fugitives now. That is absurd. Absurd. I have noth I've done nothing wrong. He turns to you red-faced and furious. Oh, boy, he's not happy. It's Ventrix. We leave for Rochus at once. Keegan sucks out the lavatory. Now sighs. What must be, must be. But it is a bitter path your companion walks. Alright, so... Just like what, you know, said. Um... We are fugitives. Ryorden said that. I think Ryorden literally did tell on us. Like, he literally did tell. Because you know how he was. He was just that type of guy. And he was probably the one who wanted to take over Kika's place as the high captain. Anyway, so he decided to tattle on what what Keegan did and pretty much brought us to where we are now. But, I, but when you start playing this game for the first time and you get connected to the characters, you really get connected to Gwen because she's the one who's always there for you. She's actually the one who recommends you to the Royal Army itself. So... When you just see that scene, it's just... I cried when I first saw... Like, no lies, I cried when I first saw that scene. Because I really loved Gwen and her personality. So, yep, we're walking back to Rochess because Keegan is in denial, you know? Like, he's in full denial that we're fugitives. Because he doesn't want to believe what Ryodin said. And he wants to check up with the people there. So we're going to be meeting him at the front gate, because as you guys can see, it says talk to the guard, and that should be pretty simple for us to do. And here we are at the guard, so let's see what he says. The guard pales when he sees Keegan. You c cannot enter. P please leave, sir. Get out of my way. I can't. You have to return back. I'm supposed to report you to my commanding officer, but... Well, you've always been so kind to me, and I'm telling you this by favor. You... Don't want to enter Rochester. Turn back. There is a corruption in our capital, soldier. You must let me pass. The guard gulps and nods at once. Nods once. I never saw you today. You didn't come through the gate. Duh. So he let us pass because Keegan was always nice to him. So I guess he repays him back in that way. So that's pretty cool. So now, the first place we have to visit is the Royal Army as you could see right there it says go to the Royal Army base and that's where we're heading right now I like to take my little shortcut right there other than going all the way around so I can just get to a lot faster than that but yeah pretty much this is where our Royal Army base is so let's go talk to someone here I guess Brecca starts when he sees the two of you how did you get into Rochest? You must leave at once. You cannot be here right now. I must find Aunt. I'm sorry, but for your own sakes, you must leave Rochester now. At least tell me why they have made me an outcast. I don't know. I'm sorry. There's nothing I could tell you. In that case, I'll seek the answers at the cathedral. Nonsense. They'll kill you if they find you there. It seems I have little choice. If you won't give me my answers, then this is farewell. Wait, just think about this for a moment. Brekus tries to hold off Ke back, Keegan back, but Keegan shrugs him off. 
side and out of the Royal Army base. Man! So now we're doing a quest called the Exiled right here, and we're gonna go talk to the cathedral, which is like the worst thing to do if you're an outcast by Rochus itself, but hey, it's Keegan we're talking about. He's not happy, he's fully lost his sense, and he wants to know what's going on, so I can understand his feelings though. See so like this girl why when she sees the sight of you. Oh my. How did you get into Rochus? Are you hurt? Wait, first, let me get off plain sight. See, it glances around and leads you to a shadowy corner. It's dangerous for you to be here. They, they're after you. Is that why I'm, that is why I'm here. Is the prawn stuff around? Tina bites her, her lip. Not sure how to answer. What is this commotion, Cena? I was praying. P Prontif. You s see, it's just the that. Laura's eyes widen when he, he sees you and Keegan. Keegan, my boy, you're safe. How did you get here? I've been worried. Of, I've been so worried about the two of you. Keegan frowns. Have you? Because someone sent Ryder in to kill me. Of course. Why would I make such an? Someone wants you killed. One of my followers. The Pronto shakes his head in, with disappointment. If my flock is to be blamed, I am immediately responsible. I am so sorry. Your Holiness, if you must help me expose the truth, we could root out the corruption here before it has a chance to take hold. Of course, we must, but first, we must make sure that you are safe. Where, have, where are you staying? Do you have somewhere to hide? I am searching. Perhaps we can be assistance. Be of assistance, if you still have this some power after all. I cannot burden you. It would be a treason. Think nothing of it. Then let me ask you this. Why was the order given against me? The Pontiff brows fro froze. Frows. I don't know what I'm saying. Blech. I do not know. I'm sorry. But I'll find out what goes on. My court always is transparent, but the truth will show itself. Until then, you must hide. It is not safe for you to be here, and uh, disproving your cha your charges will take time. P yes, please go. Gilliam might return at any second. Thus in myself, I trust you in the ho in the godness that will find a way through these difficult times. So, pretty much that's it. Oh. So we're returning to the magic laboratory, but I think that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode because we're getting closer to a mission, and that mission did take a, quite a while, and the story took quite a while, so I'm going to end it here on like a cliffhanger of the story to see what happens. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new to my channel and you like the content I put up, be sure to subscribe. Join the Felstar family today. I try to put out as much content as I can. I'm trying to find more gameplays that I like. I'm thinking about starting up a modded series again which would be pretty awesome because I like mod packs so yeah think about getting one of those up again also I have a discord if you guys are new and you guys want to join the public discord maybe someday I'll start hosting like interesting events there geez I got the hiccups now and I'll probably be doing some other stuff there I also do like announcements of when I'm live and if you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell, you can also be notified when I'm live because I like to do live streams. I really like to communicate with the stars while I'm doing some gameplay live because it's just really fun being able to talk to you guys. And I also have a Planet Minecraft account. If you guys like Minecraft and you guys like playing maps, I make maps. I also make Minecraft skins there, so be sure to check that out if you want to check out what I create. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. See you my fall stars!